Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll talk about creating new items in a SharePoint list using the patch function. In the previous demo, I did the simplest way of adding new items using a form, an edit form. And, but here I'm going to do a slightly more complex solution. But again, I'm going to start by duplicating this screen because I want everything set up the same way. So I'm going to duplicate that screen. So now we have a new task screen one. I'm going to call it new screen patch because that's what I'm going to be demonstrating here. And I'm going to remove this form altogether. There's a whole form there. I'm going to remove that because I'm going to do my own functionality. And of course, this one fails now because we don't, we're not going to be using a form there. So let's remove that code. And instead, I'm just going to build my own here uh, by inserting the same things really just a label which is going to be the title of the new task and then insert a new uh, text input and that's fine i'm just going to take away the default text there leave that blank and rename that to txt a new form title okay and then i'm going to do a label let's just copy that label there to, so we get the same size and all that then we just do instructions and then we're going to do a rich text editor and the default i'm just going to leave that blank and then call that rtf instruction now, I'm going to take these values from these two uh, inputs right there and add them to the SharePoint list with a patch command. And that patch command is going to be up here. So I'm going to patch the list called uh, tasks to do. That's my data source. And then the new item is going to be a new item with the default values from that list, the default settings. So I'm going to use the defaults function to get the defaults for this data source, the task to do. So that gives me a new item with the defaults for that SharePoint list. And then I'm going to fill in the object, the values that I'm going to fill in. So I'm going to write that as squirrely brackets and then end the parentheses and do a semicolon after. So that's my whole command. Now I need to actually fill in those two values. I'm going to take the title of the, the SharePoint item that I'm creating, and I'm going to take that from the text uh, new form title. So here, what I'm doing, I'm creating an object with properties. So there's a title property, and there's going to be an instructions property also. And as you see, that object is within curly brackets, and it's uh, key value pairs here. So the name of the, the SharePoint column and the value that I want to put in there. So let's do instructions here. And then I'm going to do the uh, RTF uh, instructions, HTML text. That's exactly what we, what we want to put in there. Before we save this, we can do a set and set a variable the return value of this patch function. So, so I'm just going to do save a SharePoint item. So if we want that, we can use it later. But the benefit now is that it now waits for the save to be completed before it navigates back. So another end parenthesis there will give me that. So that variable I can use later if needed. So the next step is to find a way to get to this uh, new task screen patch. And I'm going to do that the same way as before. Just copy that button there and call that new task uh, into the form. I'm going to call it patch. So that's what we're showing in this demo. Navigate to new task patch. Great. So let's run this now. Here we are in that form. So test five, let's just keep going with that and uh, work faster, whatever. And then we save that and then we're back and it's on the list there and it's saved. All right. 
So let's check here also that it actually did get created in SharePoint. Great. T test 5 was created there. Great. So everything is working as it should. Well, that concludes this demo. I've shown you how to create new items in SharePoint with the patch function. Thank you for watching this demonstration.